I've been hanging around the shore for a long time now. Unfortunately, not in the form of a festive holidaymaker. It's because of the holidaymakers that I'm littering the countryside like this, as they stuffed me into a bin that was already too full when they left the campfire site. Wild animals came to investigate. The wind blew, so I ended up slowly disintegrating here. Fortunately, I was picked up by cleaning bee volunteers. I suppose this is the way that other things travel also, from the rivers towards the sea. Urban wastewater contains fine particles and the clothing industry contributes fibres. The Baltic Sea is not full of floating bottles and other things, but there is a problem. The exact amount of micro litter currently found in our seas and oceans is still anyone's guess. But I did hear the cleaners say that the matter is being investigated. Tallinn University of Technology, or Taltech, has a division of marine physics and a laboratory of marine ecology, where a group of researchers are involved in the claim project. It aims to prevent the littering of Europe's seas by utilising innovative methods. One of the things they are doing here is mapping data. How much micro litter is there and where it's coming from? They have developed water sampling technologies and measurement methods which have enabled them to find surprising new data from the already fairly well studied Baltic Sea. For example, a collector that catches particles of three different sizes. The system is easy to use and can be installed on any vessel. It would be great if all of these innovative technologies would also be adopted in other countries so that we could have a complete picture and comparable data on the pollution of the world's oceans. To deliver results, this problem must be tackled globally. The models and visualizations on the researchers' screens where the collected data takes shape are particularly exciting. They have maps that clearly depict where micro litter from specific rivers ends up. This should help to decide where the risk is greatest, where different types of treatment facilities should be designed quickly so that our marine ecosystems suffer the least damage. For example, the amount of pollution entering fish spawning grounds or other protected areas could be reduced and the cleanliness of bathing beaches could be ensured. The more accurate the data collected and the clearer the presentation of the results, the more likely we are to find solutions to the problem of marine litter. I hope that you also share an interest in being at the forefront of new green technologies and contributing to the creation of a climate smart society.